Okay, and here we have another episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpening Before and After. A uh, gentleman just brought me this really nice custom hunting knife, skinning knife. I probably imagine is what he more likely uses it for. And it is a uh, Lee Jr. out of Michigan, custom built. So he wants me to clean it up and of course sharpen it up. Nothing really um, bad about it. It's just it's just a little bit dirty and like I said, it's been used probably for skinning. So it had some blood um, uh, stains on it and that sort of thing. I'll clean up with it. A little bit of rust is on here. It's just surface rust. I mean, we're on the Central Coast, so you get that all the time. And I'll clean up, of course, clean up the uh, the pin, the handle pins, and and um, we'll see when I get back. Welcome back. I have to say that Lee knife that I was telling you about a little bit earlier. It really came out nice. I, of course, put some of that what I use orange oil extract on the uh, sheath. The sheath is just a beautiful sheath. It's just a really thick leather, nicely made, fits very well. But the knife, it just unbelievably came out gorgeous. I cannot believe how nice this metal came out. The handle, I put some of that what I use orange oil extract on there. And the handle is just, oh, it'll be preserved forever with that. It's just gorgeous. I believe it's a Skinner. It is a Lee Jr. And it says HC Michigan on it. But apparently Lee Jr. was in uh, Flint, Michigan. So they're thinking that this possibly could be a, um, a 1940s even. Or early 50s but it came out beautiful. I got all the scratches out of it. I cleaned it all up and the edge is just wow. So I'm honored to do some of these custom knives. They're just, there's some gorgeous stuff out there and I hope you bring it to me to get it all cleaned up and sharpened. Uh, there you have another episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpening's before and after. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like us on Facebook if you get a chance. And remember, with Blade Runner, there's never a dull moment.